So last week was hard and a little out of character for me, but last week is gone and I am done burying myself in self-pity. That doesn't mean I'm done being my own client. That just means I'm ready to take my self-improvement to the next level. I am Emma Woodhouse and this is step two of my comeback. just called. She's going to be a bit late. She's that mad, huh? What do you mean? She said she'd come down here for lunch. Annie is never late. At her wedding, I had to stop her or she'd beat Ryan to the altar. <laughs> well, she didn't sound mad on the phone. More like on edge. She asked how you were doing a couple of times. Oh my god. She has bad news for me. Bad news? What if she's heard from Alex? What if something's happened to him? That's why he hasn't called yet. Or what if it's Izzy? No, no, no. But wouldn't Izzy call me? What if it's the kids? I, I promise, there's nothing wrong with anyone whose last name is Bailey. Annie! Oh, I'm so happy to see you! I'm happy to see you too, Emma. Uh, I thought you said she was fine today. She was. I'm sorry. I'm fine. I'm just really happy to see you. Oh, you too. You already said that. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go check on Maddie. Thank you so much for coming in. I want to apologize for the baby show. It's water under the bridge, Emma. Don't worry about it. But I do worry. I disappointed you. How are you not mad at me? Well, I think there are enough people angry with you right now. You are too good, Annie Weston. Love means never having to say you're sorry. But I am sorry. You are my best friend, and it's time I start treating you like that. Like what? Like a friend. Not a client, not a vendor, a friend. Does this mean that you're not going to try to throw me any more big flashy parties? <laughs> Well, no promises, but they won't be out of this office. And I promise you won't have to make any more tarts or cakes or muffins for any event. Oh, deal. Uh <laughs> Wait, if you're not mad at me, why are you late? Oh, that's what I'm here to tell you. And now you can be mad at me. <sighs> not possible. Frank came to see us this morning. Is this about him selling Richmond Corporation? I guess I know. Okay, that was cryptic. Frank and Jane were dating. What? Frank and Jane? I mean, it's a surprise, I know, for Ryan and me too. Wait, but when? Why? I, whoa, I cannot believe I was wrong again. Wait, what do you mean? Alex thought they were together and I told him he was crazy. Well, they're not together anymore, but they met in London last winter through friends of Jane. <gasps> the Dixons. Yes, exactly, but nobody had any idea. Jane was working here and Frank's a friend. Why keep it a secret? Am, am I? I think oh, and why tell everyone now after everything is over? Well, the news of Frank selling his shares of Richmond is huge. Uh, people are going to ask about his motives. He's selling because of Jane? He didn't say that, but the media is going to dig into his life. He wanted us to find out before the secret got out. He didn't even tell his own brother? And it was Jane's idea to hide their relationship. Frank's an important man with a certain reputation, and Jane didn't want to be known as just Frank Churchill's girlfriend. No, I totally get it. But that doesn't excuse his behavior. Or mine. Annie, do you still think I'm in love with Frank? Uh, honestly, I thought the two of you liked each other a lot. <laughs> I told you, I like Frank, but just as a friend. And you're sure? Positive. Frank Churchill did not break my heart. He may have bruised my ego, but that's all, I promise. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I felt badly pushing him on you. I'm sorry. Love means never having to say you're sorry, right? So Frank and Jane were dating for months? But he was flirting with me. Uh, <gasps> Poor Jane, no wonder she dumped him. Ooh, do you think it was her? If I know Jane even a little bit, she dropped him like a hot potato. You know who was the only one who knew. Who? Jane's aunt. Maddie? Now I know I'm the most clueless person here. <laughs> oh, oh, he sent her the computer. Yes, he did. He totally played me. <laughs> Let's go out for some ice cream. We'll forget about this for a while. Ugh, let's go out, but not for ice cream. I've had enough of that. A lot of chocolate if you want some. Ooh, and Emma Woodhouse, are you ready for our QuickBooks lesson of the day? Absolutely ready. But first, Maddie, I need to apologize for something. Again with that, I told you there was nothing to apologize for anymore. No, now it's for something different. Annie told me about Frank and Jane. Uh, uh, what about Frank and Jane? Maddie, you don't need to pretend anymore. Frank told Ryan and Annie came to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Thank God. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess if Frank is telling everyone, I could stop covering for them. Oh my God, I hate lying. You're a great secret keeper. <laughs> no one thought I could do it, especially Mama. I told her, Mama, we have to be very discreet. And she said, with all that lip flapping, it's a miracle you don't fly away. <laughs> It must have been hard for you to keep it in for so long. Oh, it was, especially because I didn't know why Jane wasn't shouting it from the rooftops. Frank Churchill is a fine young man, but she told me I had to keep quiet, so I did. That's very noble of you, Maddie. I'm sorry, I didn't think you could keep a secret. I told you to stop apologizing. Okay. Well, if you want to accept my apology, will you please apologize to Jane on my behalf? To Jane? She still doesn't want to talk to me. And I completely understand why. I mean, my behavior with Frank was awful. We flirted, we had inside jokes. Honey, you didn't know he was unavailable. But I did know he wasn't the man for me and that didn't stop me. Well, I'm sure Jane blames Frank more than she blames you. There's a reason they broke up after all. Anyway, could you please apologize to Jane and tell her that I'm sorry if I ever made her feel uncomfortable about Frank? I'm sure that's not necessary, but I will. Anything from a girl. Now, let's get to work. Okay. <laughs> so I apologize to Annie. Phase two of my self-improvement complete. And since apparently I don't have enough penance to do, Frank added another reason to feel guilty. But I've already apologized to Jane. Through Maddie. And to Maddie herself. The worst part is that Alex was right. Again. <laughs> Who would have thought the news of Frank and Jane dating would affect so many people? Who will be next? Oh my god! Harriet! <laughs>